And I don't know if you guys know this statistic, but 86% of police chiefs and sheriff's departments are for concealed carry and do not want any further ba uh, regulations, gun regulations. That's a statistic that if you want to if you want to email me, I'll give you all the information from the direct sources. Okay, I wonder what Yeah, I wonder what they think regulations are. I wonder what they're They're, they're just saying whatever regulations we have that that's enough. We don't need any more regulations. Uh -huh. What gun laws do you feel like could have been implemented to stop what happened in Vegas? Um, obviously assault weapons, there's no reason ever to have assault weapons. Um, you know, like change, uh, laws have changed, you know, times have changed since the Second Amendment was, was uh, implemented. You know, and our laws should change with it. Okay, do you, um, are, so you're for gun control? Oh, by far. In fact, I, I'll say I repeal the Second Amendment. Do you, do you trust the government? Well, but who, no. Who should, who should control the guns? Who should control the guns? I say get rid of the, all the guns. Right, who should be the ones to do that? If we don't trust the government, the government can't be trusted. Who's, who's left to control the guns? Don't! This video is brought to you by the censorship hating crew over at Virtual Shield VPN. If you want to hide your activity and location from your internet service provider, hackers, and government spies, Set it and forget it, Virtual Shield has you covered. If you think you have the right to remain private, click the link below and get your free trial plus 20% off with my code. If you find this video beneficial and informative, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know, and subscribe to the channel. An armed society is a polite society. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what, it's actually, just from my experience, and I know, have you guys ever fired a firearm? Yes. Uh, a, a handgun, a rifle, handgun, rifle yeah. AR-15? Okay. Hey, do you have a desire to? No. I, I mean, I think it's all about education because I understand why people would be scared of, say, the AR-15. But if you look at the AR-15 and the Ruger Mini-14, it's the same gun. It just looks different. It does same characteristics, same magazine capacity, same same bullet. It's a 223. So. Without him being in the hands of um, hormonal teenagers. Well. They put them in the hands of hormonal teenagers and put them off in the military. So I'm thinking the government's kind of hypocritical to say, oh, let's let's ban guns from 18 to 21, but let's ship them off to war so they can have one over there. Uh, we're part of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. We're a queer order of nuns. What the hell did you just say? Uh, we're part of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. We're a queer order of nuns that are wearing glitter, wearing something shiny, trying to make today a little bit more peaceful. We recognize there's a lot of high emotions out there, right. um, and every once in a while, a good conversation with a little bit of glitz doesn't make makes the world a better place. You're wearing a pussy hat, so what does that symbolize? Uh, it's for the Women's March. Helped out with that three months ago, I believe. So people should take guns for, away from other people? people should yeah, people should take control of their own destiny. Okay, so my question is, if let's say Joe Schmo across the street owns an AR-15, you want to physically take his weapons away if he has never hurt anybody? The law should be in place for the people. The law should be in place so that we, yes, there should no be, there shouldn't be, we should, you should not be able to have that gun. Laws made by government who we don't trust. That's what, that's my well, disconnect. That's the whole thing. You can spin this all you want. Oh, I'm not trying to spin it. I really am trying to figure out. Okay. Because I don't trust the government either. <laughs> and I, I don't know anybody in my circle of friends who trust the, the government. It's, but the government is the people. It's up to the people to make the change. Guys, if you enjoy this content, take a second and hit the subscribe and notification button for all my daily uploads. Do you think people should be allowed to have increasingly warlike weapons? Should they be allowed to have tanks in their yards? Should they be shooting ballistic missiles? Should they their warheads? That, that's a really good question and I would say in, to, to be consistent with individual liberties and you're going to think I'm crazy and I hate to even say it but they can <laughs> oh, have on, they, I know I know <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I feel free to talk to you guys because it's not combative if we walk right, away disagreeing right. you know what to me building a relationship is way more important than being right you know yeah. I have my opinions you guys have your opinions but if a guy can afford a tank and wants to put it in his front yard I don't think the homeowners association will go along with that but <laughs> and what What's he going to do? What's he going to do with it? What guns do you think should be regulated? Uh, specifically automatic fire weapons. Like They've guns. been regulated since the 1930s. That's fair enough. Assault rifles mainly, um, AR-15s are a problem. How do you define an assault rifle? Uh, assault rifle is a weapon that is, uh, I'm trying to remember, it has a magazine of over 15 rounds and typically semi-automatic in civilian standards. 
Okay, are, would you call a Ruger Mini 14 an assault rifle? Ruger Mini 14. It's got a, it it's got a wood stock and a black barrel, and it looks kind of like a hunting rifle. Would you be against that? Hmm. For a collector, no, I wouldn't be against that. No. If there's a problem, how is throwing government at it gonna create a solution? Don't. Who should do the regulating? So that's that's where the issue comes in. Where do you land on this whole issue, the March for Our Lives? Uh, Marching for Our Lives is this great moment where we get to watch those who are um, younger than us and who uh, are in more fear than I, I think a lot of us are, um, recognizing that it's their time. That's a really beautiful moment. That's a really beautiful moment. When you're your old ass parents, like, I don't know how to send an iMessage, and you're just like, give me the fucking phone, and you take it, and you're like, okay, let me handle it, and you get it done in one second. Sadly, that's what we have to do with our government, because our parents don't know how to use a fucking democracy, so we have to. That's a really beautiful moment. The reason I asked you who should regulate is because a lot... Everybody's, a lot of people I've talked to today right. said that they don't trust the government, but they want the government to make the laws. So if you don't trust the people who are going to make the laws, what's the march for? You could potentially have a half a million to two million people watching you in the next week. What would you say to people who own AR-15s out there? Would you, would you say, hey, you need to give up your weapons, give them up now? Well, let's see, we've tried, we've tried desperately for years to do gun, uh, sensible gun laws, right? So I'm to the point of repeal the Second Amendment. Take ban, them all away. Ban all guns. All away. And if you don't like that, do something about it. And the people that are owning the guns, and they're like, well, that's not going to work. All right, give me, a, give me your answer. What's your answer? What would you say to 200,000 women last year who used guns to protect themselves from being harmed or raped? Don't! Yeah, here's my thing, though. I want, I want everybody to, I want people just to be free, you know? Because if we're free, then we're also free to defend ourselves. One of those oh, statistics. But that assumes it, that people are able to yeah, handle their exactly, freedom. Yeah, autonomy is a dangerous thing. Yes. But you know what else Benjamin Franklin said? He said, I'd rather have peace, uh, dangerous freedom than peaceful slavery. And I think that's where I fall, you know? Dangerous freedom or peaceful slavery. I don't. I don't want somebody telling me what to do. There's something in between there. <laughs> well, I, I can give you the facts. It's okay. here's a CDC statistic. There's more, there's more women that are killed by guns than they're protected by guns. Actually, no. There's only 38,000 people who die a year from guns, and 67 percent of those are suicides. Don't! I work for a suicide prevention hotline. There's a really, really important recognition that gun access is a really big problem for suicide as well. And so let's figure out ways that we can um, serve mental health systems in our country that actually help people versus hurt them. I've heard a statistic, and because you're in the, the yep. field, maybe you know the, the answer to this. Of the 30,000 that die every year, is it true that 65 to 70 percent are suicide? It's 70 percent, yeah. About 70 percent of them are suicides. And that means that this is usually people who are taking their own lives and hurting others in the process, of course. Yeah. But um, we're, not, we're not talking about them because they're not necessarily in, um, in a schoolroom. What do you think criminals think about further gun, gun restrictions? What do I think about criminals? What do you think criminals think about further gun restrictions? Would they be for them or against them? Okay, well, let's look at all the criminals. Why are they in jail? What do you think criminals think about further background checks and stricter gun laws? What do I think criminals think about further background checks? I think criminals are going to have access to um, weapons whether we want them to or not. That doesn't mean we don't try. That's, that's the easy way. So that means, I mean... By omission, that means the, the laws that these are going to apply to are the law-abiding citizens, right? In general, yes. Yeah, and that's not, a, that's not a problem. I wanted to kind of get back to our original conversation with the CDC actually put out a, a thing in 2013 under Obama that said that 500,000 to 3 million times a year people use guns for defensive measures to protect the lives of innocent people. And if only 30,000 people die from, you know, gun violence, but 500,000 people are saved, wouldn't we want guns? Um, I, I still I actually don't understand where you get your information from. CDC.com. It's, it's right from their own website. If you want, after this okay. conversation, I... Okay, I'll look it up. Okay. You know, what I'll if that's... Up. Let's just say it's true. What, would right, you, it, wouldn't you want guns to say... The information I've heard, which is... It's actually, okay, so you say you want to arm teachers, right? Me? Yeah. Oh, if they want to be armed, I think we should, yeah. the, people should be allowed to do whatever they want. More guns into the schools, because everybody's against that. Right? Well, let's just, let's go down to brass tacks. Let's say you're in a classroom and you're a teacher and a gunman's coming down the hallway and you're next. Okay. Would you rather have a gun, a piece of paper, an extra law, thankful okay. for gun-free zones? What would you like? Well, let's fix it before it gets to that point. But let's say you're in that situation. Let's fix it because look at Ronald Reagan. He was surrounded by Secret Service. They had guns everywhere, but he still got shot. Yeah, it can still happen, huh? Yeah, it can still happen. But wouldn't you want a fighting? So let's fix the gun laws. But wouldn't you, wouldn't you want a fighting chance? Do you own a gun? No, I've shot guns. 
Do you, if somebody came into your house and they were armed, would you want to protect yourself with a gun? Well, let's get the guns off the streets and maybe that will never happen. Well, what if it did? Come on, be honest. You'd, you'd want something to empower I yourself, I right? Huh? I could still take them with my bare hand. With a gun? They have a gun? Yeah. So it's safe to say you are for gun control? I am for gun control. And who do you want to control the guns? That's a great point. They're more, okay, so say you have a gun in your house, okay, you're more likely to have an accident where somebody gets killed inadvertently than you are to be able to fend off somebody. You know, there's a, there's a founding father that said, I'd rather have dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. Do you agree with that? Because freedom is dangerous, you got to admit. There's a lot of crazy people out there. Oh, yeah. So here's how I see it. I don't think anybody has a higher claim over your life or her life than you guys do. And I don't think anybody has a higher claim over my life than I do. So I don't think, I don't want somebody to make a law for me. I don't want, I don't want to make a law for you. I don't want to tell you what to do. Right. Is that fair? I uh, no, it's not fair. Do you think there's anybody who has a higher claim over your life and property than you? I would like to think not. Do you? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> she brought you into this world. She could take you out. Oh yeah. And she said just the same. <laughs> but generally speaking, nobody has a higher claim over your life and property than no, you, right? I'd like to think not. No. Okay, so. Is it ever okay to initiate unjust force or violence on somebody who hasn't done anything wrong? No. Then when these people are marching to create a law that's going to make a law-abiding citizen a criminal, mm -hmm. they're actually doing the exact thing that you, wouldn't, you and I wouldn't do to somebody else, hmm. only on a large scale. So the reason I'm out here is to try to inject a little bit of common sense and logic into this equation because when you make a law, that law, all laws are backed by the threat of force. If you don't obey the government's law, men with guns will come to your house. Yes. So basically, in the name of gun violence, they're asking government to use gun violence to get rid of guns. Does that make sense? Not really. It's a little convoluted, honestly. It's very convoluted. So we're out here to try to get people to just think about what they're asking for and who they're asking yeah, it from. Guys, let the world and the Google Thought Police know what you think about this in the comments section below. If you see a benefit in this content, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a like, and share it with everybody you know. A lot of you guys have been asking about the shirts in the shirt store. There are now over 50 hard-hitting designs. Click on the link below, head to the store, grab a couple, and break through to those who are still connected to the morphine drip of lamestream media insanity. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored, demonetized video.